What's up guys, Justin here with thecgessentials.com back with another Blender architectural modeling tutorial for you. So this one's going to be really important because it's going to give you some basics on how to create openings inside of walls um, so that you can uh, basically create door openings, window openings, things like that. So we're going to talk through a couple different ways to do this, some of which use add-ons and some of which don't. But let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so one of the things that can get a little bit tricky inside of Blender is when you're doing architectural models, a lot of the time you want to cut an opening for an object um, so that you basically have a hole like a door or a window or something like that. And so let's start with a simple example. So I'm going to import a door frame that I downloaded from BlendSwap from Manum8. I will link to this frame in the notes down below. Basically what I want to do is I want to add this door frame and I also want to make it so the door frame cuts a hole in my wall. So to start off we're just going to append this to our model. So just do a file, append, and then when you bring this door frame down, you're going to double click on this and then we're just going to go into the object settings and you're going to select the option for cube 0 0.1 or cube 0 0.010. That's going to bring in the geometry of our door frame. Then I'm just going to rotate this by doing an R Z typing in 90. And we're just going to align this with our wall. So I'm just going to move this real quick this way and we'll move it this way. And we can scale it a little bit too, so I'm just going to scale it on the x-axis just a bit. Just like this. And so what we have is we now have a door frame in our wall, but the problem is the door frame is in our wall and we don't have an opening. Well the way that we can do this is we can create a boolean that sits inside of the door object that will actually move around wherever our door moves. And so the way that we're going to do that is we're going to add a cube and we're going to align the cube with our door and we're going to make it so that it intersects with our wall. So the easiest way to do this is we're just going to do a shift A and we're going to add a cube and then we're going to go to the front view. We're going to align this cube with our door. So most of the time I hold Z and move into wireframe mode to do this um, just so that I can see a little bit better what's going on. And we're just going to start aligning vertices. And so one thing that I like to do when I do this is I like to turn snap on by clicking on this button right here and then setting vertex snapping. So what that allows me to do is when I go into edit mode, it'll actually make the vertices snap to items in our model. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit the tab key to go into edit mode. And then I'm just going to tap the one key in order to go to vertex edit mode. And what we're going to do is we're going to start aligning edges. So I'm just going to tap G and I'm going to align this with this side. Notice how these are snapping and aligning with these objects because we turn snap mode on. So you can see how I can select these edges and notice that I'm getting the front and the back edges because I'm in wireframe mode. And I'm just going to align these with my door. So just like this. So now my cube, if I go back into solid mode or material preview mode is intersecting with my wall. And so what we want to do now is we want to tab back out of edit mode and click on our wall and then we want to add a modifier. So we're going to click into modifiers and under this drop down we're going to select the option for boolean. So when we select the option for boolean um, it's not going to do anything initially because it's going to ask us what object we want to use for the boolean operation. Well in this situation we want to click on this little button right here and then we want to select our cube. And so what this is doing is this is now cutting a hole in our object. But part of the problem here is you can't see the hole because the cube is blocking it. And so I think there's a few different ways to do this. And so what I like to do is just turn this off inside of my scene so that you can't see this. One thing you do need to be aware of though is if you were to render this, right now this cube would show up. So I'm just going to click on this restriction toggle and I'm going to make sure that we also have a restriction toggle available for disable and renders. And so what that means is that means I can turn this off so it's not going to be shown in the render. But the problem right now with this boolean that we created is if I move this around you can see how the opening isn't moving with this. And so the reason for that is because it's not linked in any way to our door frame. So what I want to do is I want to take this and I want to drag it into my cube object. And notice how right now it's not going to allow me to do this because it's not in a collection 
but it gives me these options for control to link or shift to parent. Well, in this situation, I'm gonna hold shift in order to parent this to the cube. So what that means is that means that now this Boolean that we created that doesn't show up in our view is now linked to our door frame. So now if I move my door around, the Boolean that we created is moving with that. So we've basically created it and made it invisible, but now it'll cut through any object that we place inside of our viewport. And so as kind of a bonus tip, you can also do this with a built-in add-on called Archimesh. And so we've talked a little bit about Archimesh before. It's basically a tool contained inside a blender that allows us to create different kinds of windows and other things like that. So you can see how I used Archimesh. And I will link to Archimesh in the notes down below. But if we create this object in Archimesh and we're gonna align it with our wall real quick. Well, if you look at this object and we need to align it front to back as well. But if you look at this object, you can see how it has a little box in here. Well, that box is basically a cutting box that you can reference with your wall with a Boolean modifier. So if I click on this wall and then I click on add Boolean modifier, I can just select this object using a little eyedropper and I can find the option for control hole. Well, you can see how what that's gonna do is that's gonna use that object as a Boolean. So now if I was to move this group around inside of my wall, you can see how that hole is gonna move along with it. So if you don't wanna do this manually and you wanna use the Archimesh objects, you can do that um, inside of Blender. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Did you like this tutorial? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Blender content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.